Hello. Hi. Welcome. Um, so it is New Year's Eve, and I recently realized that the last video I uploaded was Halloween when I did the sadness makeup. Although technically I didn't upload that to like middle of November, so it hasn't been that long. And I have actually recorded like three videos, but I haven't taken the time to edit or post any of them. Um, like my birthday gift. The Urban Decay Stoned Vibes Vault. Or the time I made those orbs and promised to upload the video I never did. And just like random times around the apartment, like, hello, hi, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I've actually recorded a few videos. Boom, majestic. I just have not actually ever uh, posted them. Excuse me. I mean, look at my skin, guys. Ugh. Winter break has not been kind to me or my skin. I like my new water cup. Where's my phone? Did I bring my phone with me? I bring myself back up. Anyways. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be creating a look today with the Sultry palette. I gotta do all my primer work first. The first thing I do is I put on the All Nighter Primer because I wanna give it time to set on my face. Take a few pumps of the primer onto the back of my hand. Eye primer. I'm just gonna do a couple streaks across the top and around. Just using my middle finger, notches into place. Okay, so we got the primers in place. So this is the palette that um, I'll be working with. This is the Anastasia Sultry palette. Like I said, I wanted this for a while. I don't know if I've done any videos using my new. Um, brushes. I bought these clear back in, um, I'm gonna say July, I bought these. So I bought myself some really nice brushes um, from BH Cosmetics. I think they're called like Lavender Dream or something like that, I can't remember. And then I have another few brushes mixed in from um, like Real Techniques. I have a really nice little tiny highlighter brush and an under eye um, liner, whatever brush. I don't know. Another Urban Decay product um, that I've been using is their setting powder. It's the Brush Off Universal, Ultimate Brush Off Universal. And it has this thing where like you unscrew the lid and then on the inside it's like um, circular with like you, you can release a little bit at a time. And on the one hand it ensures that you don't use a ton of product. And I know a lot of people are like, the Laura Mercier is the best setting powder. I used it. It was a setting powder. I, it wasn't like it transformed my life or gave new like meaning to makeup or anything. It was a setting powder. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with Juvia's Place for my, cause I'm gonna do a cut crease, so I'm gonna be using the regular old, the same old stuff I use for cut crease, the e.l.f. brush, which is tiny, the concealer brush. To start with, we have these two circular brushes, number six and number seven. So I'll typically start with number seven, which is a little bit, um, thicker of a round brush and then that'll cover a whole bunch of the area up here and then as I start to go downward and blend and get darker shades remember I start with the lightest up here and then I blend my way down to the darkers and then once I'm done I swoop that out a little bit out here to create the smoky eye. My overall base shade is going to be this shade right here called Fresh. Okay it's the lightest shade in the palette. Sweep it on my entire above crease area, going clear up into the brow bone. Okay, I'm gonna do the same to the other eye with fresh. Ooh, Ashley Mariah liked my photo on Instagram. <gasps> I'm famous. You all know Ashley. She was in my video before. In fact, I'm gonna put a link to her video right off in the corner. Maybe this corner. I don't know. I never know how it goes. Um, but yeah, so hi Ashley. Thanks for liking my photo. 
Um, I posted a photo last night because me and some co-workers went to an escape room and it is super cool. Super, super cool. Like there are hidden walls and like, yeah, it's so much fun. I'm taking that same number seven brush and now I am taking birch down here on the end. Okay. Okay. So this is birch. And again, I'm just covering most, I'm not taking it as high as I did with the fresh. And then I'm going to do the same with birch on the other side. We went again last night to their Alcatraz one, um, and it was really big. It was a pretty big uh, set. Um, and so, because you start in like some cages, and then you like go into another hidden area behind another hidden thing. Um, and then when you're in that other hidden area, then you end up going to another hidden area, and then you end up going to another hidden area, and then you end up at the end. So I can't really give a ton more details without giving much away. Also, don't smell this one. Uh, by the way, this this shade that I'm using, <laughs> okay, the shading that I'm using. Uh, so I did um, birch for the second color. Now I'm using twig for this third one, and now I'm switching over to the number six brush, which is smaller. I told the people that I was going with, I was like, just so you know, I have absolutely no puzzle solving skills whatsoever. You think I would with all like the Nancy Drew mystery games I played growing up, you know, the computer ones, but um, no, I kind of like suck at it in real life. This is literally just for like me to be the comedic relief. Um, and I have to say I do a pretty good job at that. The thing is, uh, I don't know if I've talked about this in my videos before, I'm super into true crime. Super into it. Specifically though, like BuzzFeed Unsolved, that's one of my very favorites ever. I, I've actually seen their uh, Alcatraz video a few times. So I knew certain things about the original escape, like that they used the... Oh, dang it, I was about to give something away. Um, so there are certain things that I knew about the original that, but when I would think about them more in the game, I'm like, no, they wouldn't include that because not everybody who plays this game is going to be familiar with the original story. So I would say something like, oh, we should check here for this, but then I'm like, that's dumb. They're not going to have that. And then they would have it. And I was like, at the end, I was like, guys, like if I just like listened to my true crime knowledge intuition, we would have been out of here like a whole two seconds earlier because we managed to escape like right on the buzzer. Um, but even then we kind of accidentally skipped a few steps. Like, I don't know. I don't know how it happened. Like he, he told us how it was supposed to go and we had definitely missed like two steps in the overall thing. Somehow we figured out how to get out anyways. But at the end we asked him, we're like, how often do people, um, escape this room? And he said, uh, 7%. <laughs> what I'm doing now is my usual cut crease. I have my above eye ready. I started with the fresh took in the birch, took in the twig. Now I'm gonna do my eye, and then I'm gonna come back and finish it off with some uh, dystopian noir. I'm gonna get some of that setting powder on my brush. I have that concealer on this brush. I'm gonna go in, do the concealer, set it with the powder right away. I'm using the Juvia's Place concealer. I'm gonna take some of that onto my brush, just like a dollop full. So using my good old all-nighter setting spray. For the look I'm wearing tonight, it's going to be um, like a black sparkly shirt with a red jean skirt. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to take this brush here. It's the number 10 in the set. So the, the next eyeshadow I'm going to be using for my lid is the Cyborg. It's a silver shade, like I said. The, the top I'm wearing tonight, it's like black with silver sparkles in it. I'm going to set it with some setting spray, and then I'm going to put on the lid. I'm going to have to turn on this light, I'm sorry. I know it's going to make me look weird, but I need it. I'm going to spray a little bit of setting spray on here. I'm gonna just go over this a little bit with um, twig again. I went into these outer corners with this color called Rose Quartz, right? To just give it a little bit of extra dimension. I already did this eye, but I took pearl here and I put that shimmer on the inside of this corner to make it pop some. Spray it with some setting spray and then just dab it into the inner corner over here. So now I'm going to be doing my eyeliner um, on the lid. 
For a while now, I have been using the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner in black. Um, it's 01 black is the number. Um, so I really love true crime. So uh, I watch a lot of BuzzFeed Unsolved because it's hilarious. Um, so if you don't watch BuzzFeed Unsolved, you need to. It's a life changer. Um, so then, well, if you like true crime. Way back before I even found BuzzFeed Unsolved or really, really got into true crime, I was really into Agatha Christie. I um, still am, honestly. Uh, and I love her books. I've read almost all of the Perot series. I've read several of the Miss Marple series. I've read a few of the Tommy and Tuppence. Um, so I just, I really like mystery. I always have growing up. Like I said, I would play the Nancy Drew games, you know, um, on the computer back in the day and stuff. So I've just always really liked mystery. You can always figure it out. The only mystery I have not, fi I did not figure out, of course, was, and then there were none. Um, because that wasn't really a mystery written to be solved. It was a mystery written to be a mystery, uh, like in the true sense of the word. The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. If you have not read it, it's amazing. You need to. Uh, and even like the TV mysteries, like, like the like, um, Cold Case. Um, Castle. I was reading Castle for a while. I've watched several of the NCIS seasons. I've watched several of the Bone seasons. Um, from the mind, other than I like that I'm talking and not doing any fucking makeup. At this point, this this video, I'm pretty sure, is like two hours long. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with Dystopian. Okay, because I'm done with the lids. I've done the eyeliner on both sides. Um, so I'm going to start with Dystopian to about middle and then a little bit of noir right here at the outer corner to blend in with the twig that is already there. Yeah, I've just always been pretty good at figuring out mysteries just because Agatha Christie trained me well. She was fantastic. Um, here's the deal with what Agatha Christie did for mysteries. She completely turned the game on its head in multiple ways, okay? Like with, and then there were none. There was, um, in essence, no one was left alive to tell the tale kind of thing. Uh, and it ended up being that it was, you know, the culprit in the end who had faked his own death. So then, and then in Murder of Roger Ackroyd, um, the, the murderer was the uh, narrator. It was the first person narrator and the murderer was the first person narrator. Uh, and then with uh, Murder on the Orient Express, it was everyone. Everyone on the train, pretty much everyone on the train besides Perot and a couple of the train staff, um, they were they were all in on it. They had all taken the knife and stabbed the person. Um, she knew her stuff. Uh, in her first published book, um, she knew how to describe the poison setting in because she had worked during the war in a hospital pharmacy, I think it was. So uh, I think I have my eyes pretty much done, but I'm gonna turn off the camera for a couple of seconds because I do gotta go take care of something and then I'll be back to finish my face. I'm back. So um, I had to take my pills. Um, I am still using re the Real Technique sponge. I'm spraying it down instead of putting it under water. I'm just going to start by tapping that into place and then blending it out. I always start with the cheeks and then move out from there. Um, I'm not going to get too close to the under eye. Just kudos to my fellow teachers out there um, that we don't really get to take bathroom breaks. Yes, I know I have to clean up between my eyebrows because that looks weird. So this is one of the little baby ones. And so now I use the Double double Duty Beauty Shape Tape in Fair Neutral 12N. I do one under my eyes. Um, one around my lip. I do a, a little circle here. Um, lay on a cupid's bow. Do a little bit here to help create that line when I contour later. And then last, I do the swipe up the inside, or sorry, up the center of my nose, a little bit on the tip. I'm going to use my big sponge again for my under eye and such, and then I'm going to use a little sponge for the nose. Um, I'm 
Okay, now I'm going to go with the smaller one. Okay, now I'm pretty much done with the liquids for my face. I'm going to set it with powder. Okay, this is where this type of thing comes useful. Because I just shake it out like that, it's on the brush, and I just apply it where I need it. In my eye, along my cheek, along my nose, that's where I tend to get really greasy right there. One last little bit for my forehead. Because that actually is probably where I get the most shiny throughout the day. Where I start doing the powders for contouring and such. Actually, let me go ahead and do my under eye. Take some of the noir, which I use for the outer over here. And I'm just going to put that in that very outer corner underneath. I'm going to take a little bit of the dystopian dark brown, which was my next blend shade in. And then I'm going to take the twig, which was my next blend shade that I used the 7 for. So that's twig. And then I'm going to take birch and bring that in almost to the inner corner. And then the last color I did was fresh. By the way, I'm just taking the matte colors underneath. Um, fresh was that last matte color that I did up top, the one that I took clear up into my brow bone. This pearl is not long for this world, just the way it I'm going to go ahead and do my tight liner under eye. This one, it's called Reflect. Okay, so, first thing I do for my full face um, is, of course, going to be my um, contour. Still using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. Uh, it's essentially a bronzer, but I use it for my contour. I'm going to start with the nose. That just seems like a fun thing to do. I'm going to gather a little bit on the brush, tap it out, and then I'm going to line the bridge of my nose with this. And then up to the brow again. Okay, so there's my nose contour in place because everybody's nose is shaped differently. So, what's good for my nose contour may not be good for your nose contour. And the top of the nostril on each side, and then I do a little bit at the base of each nostril. Right, and then I do a little bit on this portion right here. So that's the nose. I'm gonna, and then this is what I'm gonna use to blend it up. I'm gonna leave it for a couple minutes. Uh, while I do my face contour. So for the face, um, I'm starting with the cheek. Okay, and then I needed some on the forehead. And then on the temple as well, on both sides. Now here's the part that really needs the help, my chin. I don't really have a chin, honestly, because it makes it look like I have a chin. Same with this side. And I'm tapping it into place and kind of rubbing it in at the same time. For the chin, I take it right under right here, where the line of my chin is. And then I do bring it up right here, because there's like this dip here between my chin and my jawline. So I do put some there to create that dip on the face. And then I do a little bit down the side of the neck, because my neck is very fat. So I start under the ear, come down this way. And I actually don't go straight down, I bring it in some. We're done with the contour, like putting it in place. So now we're going to blend it out using a couple different things. I'm going to do the face first, and then I'm going to go into the nose. So for the face, I'm just using my, my same sponge. This sponge gets used for almost everything. And I'm going to just dab it to blend it in. And I am putting some pressure behind this. And then the forehead. We can't forget the forehead, because otherwise it just looks like there's a patch of dirt there. Now time for the chin. And then down onto the neck to make sure that all of this gets blended downward. Next is going to be the um, highlighter from Tarte. I'm just going to tap that into place along this cheekbone here. Tap it into place along the opposite cheekbone here. Just to get a little bit of color up here, which is going to be blended in with the blush anyways. Um, a little bit on the forehead to create a little bit more of that dimension sun-kissed look. I don't know if I put bronzer on this side under the hair, just in case. And then this is going to be blended in with the blush. 
Okay, like I said for the blush, I'm using this middle one. In the palette, it is called Get Lost. So the blush and the bronze are essentially like, they create one shimmery shadowed effect right along here to further reinforce the idea that I have cheekbones. Okay, so last we have the highlighter on the brush. Um, and I'm just going to spread that along. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit on my cupid's bow right up into that area. And then I'm going to put a little bit up in the brow section to create a bit of a shimmer there. And then for the nose, I'm going to put a little bit on the tip of the nose and then a little bit at the top of the bridge. So right he here, and then I'm going to put a little bit up along the bridge right here. I'm not going to bring it down the entire bridge, just right there. Okay, like right here. For the eyebrows, I used Gimme Brow, and just to show you, um, this is the one that I've done with the Gimme Brow. This has no Gimme Brow. So I use the Gimme Brow, and literally I just take the little spoolie with some of the product, and then I just comb it into place over the hair of the brow. And all that's left to do now is the lashes. I'm not going to do lashes on camera because I suck at doing lashes, but they always end up looking okay. Yeah, so this is the final product. I put on some lashes, of course. Um, along with like mascara. I put on a red lip. Um, fun fact, the outfit I had in mind when I put it on, it did not look cute at all. It was awful. Um, yeah, I'm excited uh, for the celebrations. I hope you and your families and friends get to have a really fun celebration too. Happy New Year!